Come take a look at some 3D printed parts for use with Warhammer 40k. Spiky bits. What's up Hobby Maniacs, Rob Bear with you again. Taking a look at some 3D printed parts for a Night Titan from our friends over at Shapeways. Finally got the pieces I always wanted for this really dope looking Wolf Knight Titan. And we all know Night Titans are going to be the heat in the new edition. So I'm really glad Shapeways sent us these to take a look at. So without further ado, let's open this box and see what's inside. Okay, so here's the box. Now, I've already opened it up, but I wanted to show you guys exactly what comes inside, like how they pack it, you know, if you order all the stuff, and let's be honest, there's a lot of upgrade bits out there, all the boutique resin stuff, or, you know, things you buy from Forger, or things you buy all over the country, whether it's bits, or, you know, your, your parts, or whatever, are always going to need to come well protected and well packaged. You can see here that not only does Shapeways have the exact SKU number with a UPC printout and also everything is packed inside a bubble wrap inside of peanuts inside a nice sturdy corrugated cardboard box so I was definitely impressed there now I've already dug through these and gotten all the parts together and taken a look at everything but I wanted to show you guys because I know that's a concern I know we've had uh, issues with packaging on a lot of orders out there coming over from England in the past and even stuff that you you know can just buy on the store some uh, store shelf sometimes just comes across so this is a really good sign to see the level of detail they put in all of their orders and just making sure that you get exactly what you order from Shapeways and here are the bits themselves now I don't know how Shapeways does it like obviously they have some really expensive printers that render out this great material here they call it ultra frosted detail <laughs> like I said, they're obviously wizards, but this stuff is pretty fresh. There's actually another level up of quality. I think it's called Extreme. I don't have anything to compare it to, but I can tell you what the the ultra frosted quality or the ultra frosted detail is very well here. I mean, you can see all of the edging here on this trim. You can see the studs. You can see all of the Viking kind of. Um, beads and bands and stuff in there that obviously the wolf head now you can probably even see in the camera at least i see it through the viewfinder so i'm hoping it shows up is you could see all of the lines you're probably like well what am i gonna have to do with that am i gonna have to soak that am i gonna have to well you know scrape that down well actually shane from gadgets plus remember it's gadgets plus with the plus sign not plus spelled out you put that in at google you're gonna get something else this is uh this is from his store actually on shapeways that he designed it so it prints out with the grooves on the inside so all this is going to get glued down and the same with a lot of the stuff it prints from the inside out so there's no crappy detail on the outside all of that detail and all that line work is on the inside so it isn't going to interfere with anything that we want now i would recommend as with all resin or plastics or anything out there you're definitely going to want to wash this with a little uh, dish soap to get in there and get any leftover residues or anything from the machines but you can see here i mean look at that that is a great looking wolf symbol right there and lots of extra detail you got a whole tabard to fill up with anything you want here's the feet and these are all very well done with uh, some great looking studs and some little i don't know i guess those are vents or some sort of uh ex extenuating articulating robot feet. I don't know how robots work, but that's probably how it is. And some power cables right there. And then you got the heresy knee pads right there with the, some studs on them, which are pretty fresh. And this is my personal favorite is the wolf head to go on here. And he even lined it up so that it will swivel. Uh, as long as you glue this down, you can make it using the uh, part from the Night Titan to get in there and get a swivel on. Again, printed from the inside out. So there's no crappy detail on the outside right there so it's pretty amazing looking stuff now i know i didn't mention about now we're going to take a look we're going to compare this to how what parts you would put on here for oh yeah check this out too like you've got all of the focusing crystals and some wiring and stuff like that like it's all very well done like this is incredible how he detailed all of this out and just the fact that they designed it to print from the inside out itself, so there's no of that crappy detail. Now, again, you're still gonna wanna do a little bit of hobby work to get it all cleaned up, but let's uh, jump over here in a second and compare these to the plastic kit itself and how they go together and how they compare detail-wise and stuff like that. But I did wanna mention 
real quick that you know shapeways this is the stuff independent sellers put their stuff on there like if you want to design something and put it up on shapeways that's cool or if you want to design something and put it on shapeways and just print it out one time just for your use you can do that too like there's all sorts of varied uh, degrees of services over there you don't have to like open up a, a bit shop basically but if you do there's always you know a little bit of a cut involved that comes back to you I don't know the particulars on it but you know that's uh, that's definitely an option there so you know really cool stuff out there Shapeways is basically the Amazon uh, 3d printing where you can go on there and check out a whole bunch of different stores from a bunch of different sellers now let's jump in and check out how these compare and assemble onto the plastic parts themselves for a Night Titan. So you could always pair these up, obviously, if you wanted uh, to make a ginormous wolf walking robot right here. So here's the wolf head, and you can see, oh, hey, look at that. This is basically right on there. And then you would grab this bracket, and it looks like if you leave that off, this will perfectly line up. Yep, it sure does. I love building modular sometimes. The wolf head locks in right there, and you can even pose it if you want, just kind of depending on which way you want it to turn, but it can definitely be looking, and it's got that little support bracket that kicks out right there that I think is, uh, I think that's pretty neat right there. Now, there's is the skeleton exo structure of a Night Titan itself. It doesn't have all the army plating on, so it looks a little naked, but please forgive the nakedness. Actually, we can put some of these shoulder pads on here, so I'm sure these will just lock right on, right? Yep, there we go. Those look great, so the, that will lock right in and really look very dynamic on the tabletop because of course it would be a lot easier to paint all that with the detail already on it. Of course I didn't lock it in really good. There we go right there. I would always recommend painting these and then gluing them on a last right there, but that looks very striking. That detail is incredible. This is the standard ultra frosted detail level. Now there is a notch above this but sometimes people say that they can't quite make out the extra kind of detail so i didn't really go with that when i was like hey send me this i think this will be fun i always wanted one of these and then here's the frost cannon now of course this is uh normally the super melt -a blaster but you can tell this is designed all that goes together pretty well so that definitely works out well if you want to put it at the end of that particular bit right there. And you can see it all going together. It locks right in so you could maybe magnetize it right there or use some tubing or something like that to kind of lock it in. I would think that would be pretty neat. And last but surely not least is the feet themselves. Well, let's take a look at the uh, little knee pad things here that could be used to go right here. Hmm, look at that. Isn't that... Oh, there's a little bracket. Okay, cool. So, yep, that works pretty good. If I do it the right way. There it is. Locks in. So, that looks to line up pretty good. Depending on how you want to do it, you can slide it around if you want. And then, of course, these feet could go right here. I had a break, I had to break one of mine apart, but there you go. You can tell that definitely works out pretty good. If you want to upgrade your feet parts, it would just take a little bit of work, but boom, goes the dynamite with that one. I'm really liking that. Let's see if we get this other, this other foot right here. Oh yeah, check that out. Very cool. Lines up perfectly. Now there are a couple of pieces, some extra pieces that you could get uh, if you were so inclined. There is a groin plate that would probably fit right there and look really good if you wanted to. And then of course, if you wanted to go over to uh, Dreamforge and pick up their Eisenkrin or Eisen, it was it Eisenhorn, the big Night Titan that's a little bit bigger than these. You could pick that up and then just cut off the end of the Reaper Chain Sword and glue this on, and that would really look very striking with all of these uh, wolf iconography all around it. But that itself is a plastic bit that is available separately. But that is what Shane used on his uh, conversion piece right there. So that is pretty much. Oh, this is the groin plate. Yep, that was everything I think that you could get to make uh, a wolf. I call him the Iron Werewolf Night Titan. I don't know what his official designation is, 
But if you want to get one of these bad boys and pick up all these great upgrade parts, you can ch check out Gadgets Plus. Remember, it's plus, <laughs> not plus spelled out. You will get some, some random Google searches if you put that in there and scoop up all these bits to customize your Night Titan if you so desire right there. So that's it for this one. If you like these video features here on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn notifications on so you can be one of the very first to comment on our new features here.